Okay, quick update. We are getting ready to go to California, but not for three days. However, someone very tiny has been asking me, speak of the devil, someone very tiny has been asking me every single day, can I pack my suitcase? This morning, I woke up to her right in my face saying, I'm gonna pack today. And I was like, wait, wait, no, no, we're not ready to pack. She's like, I'm packing. This is Lanai, and I will show you the things that she decides to pack. Of course, there's the normal things. She definitely remembered her swimsuit. She's got pajamas, a dress, a hoodie, she didn't do too bad, but the part that is my favorite of Lanai, every time we go somewhere, whether it be to a hotel, she tried to do this when we went to Ireland and we're packing just backpack for two weeks. She always packs toys, little things. I, I, don't, I don't understand. But what is the cutest part is as soon as we get to the hotel, the Airbnb, my family's house, she sets the bedroom up. She'll put up her animal. She'll put this jewelry box out. This metal has gone countless places I can't even tell you. She cried a thousand tears when we had to leave this in the car at the airport and couldn't take it to Ireland. I mean, this is heavy. She puts her medals up on the door. She just makes that house a home. If suitcase obsession is any indication of when I as a future traveler, then she said, oh, and a leg. <laughs> How cute is that? Tonight is the night before we leave to California. I just finished editing a video. I did a greatest showman practice today and I still need to do some laundry to get ready to go and pack. So, you know, some people like pack days in advance and I like to pack minutes in advance. We are going to California because our kids are a part of a choir called Millennial Choir. Every year they, most years they go somewhere special for a performance. So there's a bunch of locales and all the locales get together at a central location. And this year it's in California. They're going to be singing at a cathedral in LA and they're gonna be filming a music video on the beach. Ben's brother lives in San Diego and so we're gonna go stay with them so the kids can play with their cousins. So it's about a six hour drive in the morning and I'm very unprepared. It looks like Ben cleaned the house, which is really cute. And I went to start the laundry that I needed my fanny pack is in the wash. I got the bright one from Lululemon and that thing gets dirty quickly. But I went in to start it and Ben already had that little sweetheart. And of course, Lynn, I already packed her suitcase days ago. I'll see you probably in the morning. Okay, we're heading to California right now. Blake is having fun rolling up and down the windows. He got a haircut for his concert. We have three times as much luggage for a four day trip to California as we had for a two week trip to Europe. We packed for Europe, we had everything in two backpacks and every, all the kids had their own little backpack and that was it. And now we have a suitcase, a backpack, a backpack, a backpack, a bag of shoes, and I know not what. Whoa, We're just waiting at Ben's work while he does. grabs a couple things. <laughs> Wait, how are you doing that? Use your powers. <laughs> you know you're in San Diego when? Okay, we finally arrived and I'm really proud of myself because I'm carrying four backpacks at one time. Can you tell on my camera where we are? You're at your cousin's what? What sport is she at? Baseball. Yeah, but what's the girl type of baseball? Basketball. That too. Softball as well, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and we're on a little walk looking for a park. There might be one way over. Like way, way over? Way. How long do you think I can hold you on my shoulders? Like for 100 hours. Well, let's just test that. What did we find? A playground. Finally! Stop. How do we pump? So I sit. I yep. Do that, and then I did this. Whoa, you're doing it! I didn't know you knew that! You wanna go down together? Yeah. Here, do you wanna go on my lap? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to go on your lap? Yeah. This is a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> it's gonna squish you, watch. It's gonna squish me. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? No! Then I'm not even putting my full weight on you. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> this time Lanai is going to go on my lap. Lanai and I found a car wash. Hello. Car wash. Car wash. Okay, I'm being a little creeper talking out of the trunk. So it's Saturday morning, the kids have MCO all day. They're doing a run through right now. And then after the run through, we have a break. And then, and then after the break, they have two concerts. 
I'm gonna show the cool venue. It's oh, so pretty. I'm so tired. Yeah, we had to wake up early to get here in time. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Oh, there's probably chimes up in the ladder. Shall we enter Zeus's lair? Yes. I want to enter. Entering Zeus's lair. Entering Zeus's lair. We just got their pickup bag and show you merch. Okay. Stickers. Wait, wait, I didn't get to see the sticker. Okay. Look at how smart So cute. Show me your teeth. Oh, that's actually really cute. I like it. Bring onto his head, and he was trying to lick me, and I was trying to lick him. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Jesus walking on water? Yeah. Someone just instructed us that we need to check out the women's bathroom. Yeah, apparently it's elegant. And oh, a... elegant? Is that the word she says? Elegant. Elegant. Walk feminine. Oh, it is elegant. There was a plaque in the bathroom that said, This lady's room was made possible thanks to a generous cash gift donation from an anonymous donor who wanted the women of this church to know that they are beautiful, the best, and deserve to be honored with facilities that are not only excellent, but elegant and endearing. Kind of sweet. Ben, what is over there? A water bottle. A water bottle. <laughs> a water fountain and a waterfall. So we just dropped the kids off, and now we're trying to take Lanai to the beach for a couple, like an hour. But she's distracted by her show, and I want to catch her reaction when she finally looks up and sees that the ocean is just like right there. But first of all, we have to park. Okay, we're here, but apparently eating Taco Bell, Del Taco. But apparently Lanai already saw the ocean, so. Oh, she got water for you, Ben. Taking matters into his own hands. Literally. I'm just trying to make you happy. I'm just trying to make you happy. Well, we got four drops in our tunnel.
Right before we left the beach, Lynn and I made sure to roll around in it. <laughs> so now we're gonna attempt to wipe you off, huh? We're updating the people. You just did your... Practice. Our practice, and then we were trying to go to a steakhouse with all our friends, and we waited in the parking lot for an hour, and they still didn't get us in. So now we are going to... in and out in and out And then we'll drop the kids off, and then we're gonna see their concert. Okay, so we're getting them ready for their concert. We got ready in the parking lot. Show them your outfit, Danny. Yeah. Where's my, oh, my backpack's on. Bear, bear, show your outfit. Oh, Put your backpack on. Oh, oh, Grandma. Look at these shoes. Does this not scream old Grandma? That's not yeah, Blair wants a grandma kit and she's gonna put those shoes in it. This yep. not scratchy. Lanai, I've had three people tell me that they think your shoes are cute and ask where I got what them. What the heck? I know. But, no offense, I wouldn't wear them. They are cute. You're basically wearing them, but in boys. We just had dinner and now we are going to the kids' concert. Because of copyright reasons, we can't do any audio of the songs from the show, but it was super cute to have our little Blair Bear up there on the big screen. Good night, MCO. My voice died after Oh, dang. <laughs> Mom, she shows her little pants on. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't talk loud, but this is just a couple things from the bathroom. It is 1.30. Just got back from the kids doing their two concerts and I volunteered the second concert. Watching them perform in that space was amazing. And the song that caught me the most was Baba Yatu. It's the Lord's Prayer in Swahili. It's like Baba Yatu. What's his name? Something Bonner. Anyways, I'll put his thing. But he sings that and then the choirs come in. It's just so powerful. Like when they start singing, it fills every corner of the room. The sound comes like a wave and crashes over it. It goes up and around and down. Instantly, like my eyes start welling up because I just can't process the power of this live music. I volunteered with the littles, like the preschool age kids. The kids kept wanting to play Fall the Leader and I was just curious how far I could push it. So <laughs> I was literally sliding on the floor on my stomach like I was a human mop because that's what the kids were doing. And we were running around on our hands and knees and I just forgot in the way that little kids move because I was trying to follow exactly what they did. They're just so carefree. They don't they don't worry about a thing. They're just flopping around, rolling around, and it's so fun to move your body that way. So that was fun, but I got unknown sticky substance on my fingers and I was like, oh. Blake and Blair got out early. They came down with me and there were 12 kids left and I was hanging out waiting for their parents to pick them up. I looked over and Blake had started playing a game with a ball he had with three other boys, keeping them all entertained. And then I was helping kids and I looked over and there was a little boy on the ground with his legs out and Blake was tying his shoes. I don't know why. I just don't see that side of my kids. I don't see them how they are when I'm not around. And sometimes I get sneak peeks. I asked him, Blake, that was so cute when you helped that kid tie his shoes. And he said, well, he couldn't, he didn't know how to do it on his own. Okay, well that's it. Tomorrow we're gonna have a day spent with cousins. And then Monday is Disney Monday. Tuesday they film a music video. One more quick thing. The group I was with was four year olds to first graders and they were dropping like flies because it gets to be a late night, you know? Kids fall asleep, so they bring pillows and blankets, but one kid fell asleep on his back, like kind of scrunched up in his little suit and his little tie, just like this tiny little human. And he didn't want to be moved. Like every time people would try to put him on a blanket, he wouldn't let them. But all the other kids were awake and running around and screaming and jumping over him. He kept almost getting stepped on. So we put like five cones around his body. We look in the room, there's like mayhem, children running out everywhere. And in the very center is one little child asleep with a bunch of cones around him. Like he's like a wet floor sign. Such a representation of the hard work that they put in. I'm just so glad that my kids get to be not just listening to the music, but they are creating it. They are a part of the wave. So cool. All right, Lenai. You, you want me to hold one? Well, if you want to hold one, I do want you to hold one, but if you don't want Hey, little one. Where's Oz? <gasps> Oz. Oh, it's super nice, too. Oz. Just grab her. Oz. Just pick her up. Check over here. Yep, pick her up. See? 
Where are you going to put All her? of it's the best. Put her in the bath. Or, there you go. Yeah, the bath is the best too. <laughs> all of their food. Oh! Whoa. Girl. They're all around me and I. Olive. Okay, Olive. I'm surrounded. Okay, Olive. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Great. We're getting some chilling footage of Lanai with Olive. Olive. Oh, one's pecking at my foot. I was like, what's that rustling? It's a chicken at my feet. Hello, buddies. You wanna get out? There's a chicken between my legs. A chicken between my legs. Calm. Calm. Okay. Okay? I'm holding Olive. Perfect. Perfect. Now go get the box. Someone go get the box. Oh, he went up in there. Hi, this is a video on our chickens, and let's see what they do all day. That one's Olive. She's really sweet. She's our sweetest one. These are all of our chickens. This is our chicken coop on the inside. It doesn't look like much, but it's pretty good. These are the next sting boxes. There is a little nexting box thing over here. Open this, then you just pull it open. You pull it, and it's open. <laughs> <laughs> then you shut it, and you lock it. This is like our chicken window. You pull it up, and this is what it Well, see you guys next time. <laughs> Tell me what you're doing. the dewberry juice uh -huh. at people randomly in the street uh -huh. and he was attacked. Little um, Jimmy was attacked. He's the kindest person in town. And he's wanted. Oh my gosh. And he's this guy? No. They're twins. Oh, they're twins. His name is Bad. His name is Bad. Okay. A quick crappy bathroom update. Super fast. Like the brain I tried right over here. Today was just a family day. It was so fun. My nephew got caught in a baby swing, so that was hilarious. I found out later he was doing it on purpose. We didn't have to leave the bar, but that was funny. We got to watch some sports for cousins and just a bunch of kind of time. It was a really good day and a bunch of time connecting with family. It's really late again at night because I am having a hard time falling asleep, but tomorrow is Disneyland. So I will see you hopefully making beautiful, magical memories at the happiest place on earth. I mean, a happiest place on earth. I don't know. I'll see you there. Ma'am, yeah. I'm gonna have to talk to you for a moment. You violated code 121. <laughs> do you have anything to say for yourself, ma'am? I'm, I'm so sorry. Ma'am, do you know what code 121 is? No. Well, you should. <laughs> <laughs>